All right, now that we're done, we want to make our way to Foresight. Uh, I don't have cash on hand. I might just walk there. Although, eh, I think the bus is easy to... Uh, you know what? We'll just walk there. It's fine. I'm not too worried. It It is going to be a little bit of a walk, but I think that's okay. We got through one of the tougher dungeons, or at least it can be tough. If you have Paula at a high enough level and her freeze magic is strong enough and you can keep her alive, it's not too bad. Uh, especially what you want to avoid actually is fighting too many of the snakes that can cause you poison because that's going to cause you a lot of... Uh, cost you a lot of re refreshing herbs and you also kind of want to avoid those uh, ants because they can be kind of tricky but other than that it, it, it's not too tough if you know what you're doing Ness greetings I'm George Gerardo Monta Montague's brother Gerardo is in his mine but he hasn't found any bird treasure yet we did however find a diamond instead he told me to give it to Ness here it is please take it hey you've got too many things with you well I've got to go I'm busy working on another mine I'll well, certainly hang on to your diamond come and get it at the treasure hunters excavation office Oh, what? Where is the excavation office? That's not good. Um, we definitely need that diamond. Uh, so that's going to be a bit of a thing. I guess I'll just have to do some inventory management once I get the foresight. Uh, see if I can sell some things. Maybe store some things at Escargo Express. Uh, I, I, I'm not quite sure, but yeah, we, we definitely need to take care of some stuff because having your inventory full like this is not really the best. And we need that diamond. We 100% need that diamond. Here, I'll give you this now for sure. Alright, now we have the diamond. I still think it's silly that they don't separate key items from other items that really should just be a thing uh, and I think it's quite poor game design to not have that separated and it is one of my recurring frustrations whenever playing Earthbound because your inventory space it, it's not like you have big inventory space to begin with and I can kind of get you know limiting it for a challenge you know to prevent people from just stocking up on hundreds and hundreds of potions that they end up never using i kind of get that but i think you should definitely make an exception for key items and it's silly that that's not the case that said we now do have our diamond and uh, if you remember over in foresight there was this uh these people who had a bit of a debt again one that a lot of bills just won't quite cover, but maybe something else of value can cover that. So that was that is what we're gonna do. Oh, we need to buy a new ticket. Fine. I don't think I had a ticket anymore. Right? Yeah, it uses up the ticket, so you have to buy a new ticket now, but that's okay. Yep, 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 unless you are able to find a million dollars or find buried gold. Well, ah, oh, damn it, no, I didn't mean to do that. Well, lady, how about a buried diamond? What, what, what? I can tell what this is from the distance. Bring it closer. Okay, okay, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll come close. Nice, nice and easy. Nice and up close. Yeah, that, that diamond. You're going to pay with the diamond? Uh, okay, then that's fine. I'll rip this contract. Rip. Don't tell anyone about the diamond. No, 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 five are free. You should thank me. The diamond is worth maybe, maybe $50. So I gave you a bargain. I made lots of money. Of course, it's worth a lot more than just fifty dollars. But it's so about being such troublemakers. Runaway five or free ones more. We won't be so gullible anymore. Well, our fans are waiting, baby. Let's just do this one last show, then get out of here. 
All right, thanks again. Money, that's what I want. Money, that's what uh, is hot. Money, that's what I want. Money, it's what we ain't got. Except freedom, freedom. Freedom is what we already sought. Money is what I want. Yep, yep, yep. No need to repeat it. We we got the message. Now you can go ahead and watch our show one more time if you're so inclined. But really, if you want to see their show, watch my previous episode. I don't want to show it on camera again. Ah, <sighs> we have to watch it again. Honestly, I'm going to cut it because we've seen it already. It's the same show. So if you want to watch it, go back and watch it. Unless this is different, then maybe we'll keep this in. Okay, I guess it is a bit different, so I'm leaving that in. Hope you enjoyed it. That was the last show you will see in the game. This time for realsies. Anything you fans have to say? Wow, sucks to be you. We're leaving now. So... Runaway 5, their debt has been freed. What is up next? Well, I guess we can see if we can maybe um, upgrade ourselves a little bit. It, it's been a while since we got some upgrades. Let's, uh, let's visit the department store, see if it's open. And yes, indeed it is. Welcome to the Foresight department store. Uh, you can buy tickets for the Topala Theater, but I don't want that. Would we like to return something? I guess we can sell things? I'm not really worried about that. How much money do I have on hand? 116 isn't really enough. So let's go ahead and uh, withdraw a bunch. We have so much money. Uh, let's withdraw like 5,000. I can always put the rest back in afterwards. We're going to go ahead and see if we can do some upgrades. There's this lady here. She'll sell seasonings, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, another place to buy seasonings other than having to travel back to Tucson, which is pretty nice. Everything's so expensive. Should I return to my hometown? Yeah, you might want to. Can buy burgers, other food. There's a little door here with just some boxes. Don't talk to La. What do you guys want? But we can also buy some other things. Hyper Beam. Ooh. Is that a new weapon for Jeff? That's tempting. I think I might get that. I don't really remember how good that is or if it's good at all. Upsurge offense by 10. Um. Can we go ahead and pawn off our laser gun? No, he doesn't want to buy it. Um, okay, well, for the rest, what we want to do, I think, is get big bottle rockets. Uh, just fill Jeff's inventory with that. I guess we can only fit one in. So that will be all. 
But if you can, you want to fill Jeff's inventory as far as you can with big bottle rockets. I don't really know why you can never sell Jeff's weapons. It's always seemed a little bit weird to me. I actually wonder what it says about his new gun. Uh, because now we have the hyper beam. It just says Jeff can equip it. I wish it would at least say like how much offense it had, you know? But it, it says so little. I think that is that item management is like one of the big weaknesses of Earthbound. Uh, let's see. We don't need any of those tools. Okay, we could buy a chef's fry pan for Paula, but I recommend not buying anything for Paula at the moment. Uh, it will make sense later. Uh, gold bracelets. That's expensive though. Um, that is expensive. Uh, I want to see what else we can get. There might be something a bit cheaper up here. I mean, it's going to be a big boost. So in a sense, it might be worth it. But boy, oh boy, it's so expensive. What do you sell? Oh, you sell... Nothing that is going to even be remotely any upgrade for me. Can you sell toys? Ooh, okay. Trick yo-yo. Coin of slumber. Coin of defense. But we don't need that right now. Red ribbon. Defense ribbon. Teddy bear. Um. Okay, well, first of all, if I'm going to have to increase Jeff's... If I'm going to give him a better weapon, I got to make some space. So we'll give this to Paula for the moment. And I guess, I guess, you know what? I have a lot of cash. I should just go for the upgrade. It's going to be expensive to buy the gold bracelet, but whatever. Uh, I'll buy one. Uh, it's going to be for Jeff here. Uh, we'll equip it as well. And you can buy my silver bracelet. Now, one thing I'm wondering about actually is if we, it, it didn't say it would be an increase for Ness and I want to know why. It's going to be your arms? Huh, I guess the platinum band is even better. So if you already have a platinum band, just give that to one of Jeff or Ness. I'll have it on Ness in this case. Uh, I had it on Paula earlier, but yeah, we, we don't need to worry about Paula for the moment. So this is going to be Ness. This is going to be Jeff. I really need better things for my body because I've been stuck with the same things for quite a while here now. Oh, well, let's uh, do one more. Th or let's see, I want to trick yo-yo but yo-yos i don't think have good accuracy so i kind of don't want to go for that queen of Devons, i don't want to spend money on paula right now uh teddy bear yep i'll give ness a teddy bear do i want i kind of want ness to have more teddy bears so we'll give this to paula but then paula is full jeff has room for one more thing I guess I'll buy two more teddy bears. It really doesn't matter who carries it. I'll buy one more teddy bear. I really wish it just auto went in someone's inventory. But whatever. Uh, I think that's pretty much all that I want to do now. We have Ness with some teddy bears. Or Jeff I guess also has one. It doesn't really matter who carries them. Um... And Jeff and Ness have both been re-equipped properly. So we're going to make our way all the way down here. And as we are down, we're going to go ahead and deposit our cash. We don't want to have a bunch of cash on hand. That's generally a bad idea. I'll just keep like $3. So we can call Dad to save here. And we'll keep going for a little bit more. Huh. 
Yep. Creepy Flash and Paula gets abducted by aliens. Your attention, please. With the customer from Onnit, Mr. Ness, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor. That was customer Ness, fourth floor office. Gwah. That's right. This is why you don't want to equip Paula, because she gets kidnapped. Uh, we need to make our way up the stairs. Uh, there's going to be some tough enemies. Uh, we'll just have to uh, do our best to fight them. Wait, how was that a back attack? How was that a back attack? I definitely don't agree with that. But yeah, one of our teddy bears is already dead. That is crazy, right? That is crazy. We have barely even started here. And the mystical record already killed one of our teddy bears. The enemies here are crazy strong. It... it and Jeff got mortal damage. And the teddy bear got mortal damage. And Ness will probably die here as well. Yep, teddy bear is vital fluff as well. We got the mystical record down and the scolding coffee cup down. This... This is a crazy weird difficulty spike. And it comes out of nowhere, but yeah. Um... We're going to have to use a cup of live noodles on Jeff. Um, and I'm going to have to do life of beta. To max out Ness's HP. Jeff has maxed out HP now. Our teddy bears are already all gone. From the very first fight. They just got destroyed immediately. And that's definitely, definitely very, very bad. Um... We'll just have to keep going up. Uh, I, I'm not sure if there were items in here. I don't think there are any item boxes for you. Ness, customer Ness, please hurry to Paula. Grrr. This is also why you want... Oh, frick. And th this is another mean thing about it. Is you're pretty much just slid into enemies. There's no real way for you to avoid it. Uh, so that's bad too. Let's uh, use a bottle rocket here. We want to definitely do a lot of damage. Just missed. That's good. Whew. But there's still like a bunch more like right after this that are gonna gang up on me if we don't watch out. And this wasn't a back attack. See, that's what I don't get. Like, some of these things definitely should have been back attacks and they're not. And others don't count as back attacks when I feel like they should have been. Ness and Jeff have both fallen asleep. That's not good. Luckily, Jeff woke up. The Franklin badge will reflect it. So yeah, definitely you want the... Um, you want the Franklin badge on either Ness or Jeff, not on Paula. If you, for whatever reason, gave it to Paula. Okay, N Ness has woken up. And we really just want to make for that door as quick as we can. You don't want to waste time looking around too much. Because the enemies are just quite tough. Ness, customer Ness. Squa -gwar. So I'm just going to go inside here. I don't want to waste time on those enemies. Gwar, gwar. You finally made it. This apartment store is going to be your grave. You'll be gone and you'll be burning in. Well, you'll go to heaven. Aw, how nice. We'll go to heaven. Here we have the department store spook. Um, I'm really just gonna pretty much go all out. PSI special beta and big bottle rocket. Oh, what? No. Ness is homesick. That is such bad timing for Ness to be homesick. Because he's homesick, he's not really gonna always do attacks. So we really gotta call our mom after this. But that is real bad timing. We're just gonna have to rely on big bottle rockets here. It's a good thing we had plenty of those. Because otherwise that battle can be very tough. But luckily we got through that really easily. Because we just used two big bottle rockets. For a second I was really worried when Ness got homesick. And he was just thinking about pizza. But whew. Even though you could beat me, Master Gags will avenge me. At this moment, Polly should be Monotoli. Quar. 
Paula should be Monotoli. Yeah, not the most helpful advice, but it gives us a direction to go. Um, and again, you might say, well, that battle didn't look too tough. That's because that guy can hit very hard if he gets the chance to. Now you know that two bottle rockets can take it out. So you might just want to you do that, you know, spend some money, do two bottle rockets and get it over with. Either way, I'm glad I got through that. But uh, I guess, ooh, hey, butterfly. I guess what I need to do before I go to the Monotoli building is actually call my mom before I forget. Because I, I need to stop being homesick because that's very dangerous. Mom! You sound so sad. Are you homesick? Well, I knew there would be days like this. Must make you feel better listening to your mom's sweet voice. Do you feel any better? I'd better get going. I'm in the middle of ironing. Bye! There we go. We got over being homesick. Now, the tricky thing with homesickness is that you have no visual cues for it at all. And so it can just sneak up on you in battle all of a sudden. I'm not sure how I feel about that personally. I think it's a little bit annoying because, you know, it would be better, I think, to get some kind of heads up outside of battle too. But as far as I know, there is none. 